Hello everyone. So, if you haven't noticed yesterday, patch 5.3.1 dropped, which is a rank fixing patch, which is something we really haven't seen since rank X got introduced, in which they are basically finally attempting to fix rank X and make it better, as well as ranked as a whole. So, Nintendo did three changes in this, and while these are all good changes, I feel there's definitely more that Nintendo is perfectly capable of doing, and I want to go over two things I think they could add in addition to the changes that they did so far, as well as explaining what exactly was changed since their wording wasn't really very clear, unfortunately. So, the first change they made is they made it so that if you're of a higher X power, you will be matched with people closer to your rank when there is a lot of people playing the game. So, what this means basically is if you have a high power, which they don't specify the number, and I, we might find this out in the future, but for now we don't know the exact number, and there's a lot of people playing the game in terms of queuing for ranked, they're going to make it so that there's a bit more prioritization on having an actual lobby placed closer to your X power. So, for example, right now I am 24, 39 in Rainmaker, for example, and if I join a lobby and there's a lot of people playing right now, then it's probably going to put me in a queue of people who would be closer to 2439 than it would last patch. However, if there's not a lot of people doing ranked battles, then it's not really going to feel any different. And this to me sends a signal that everyone has kind of thought of already, but it's very clear now. Nintendo doesn't want to sacrifice queue times to have better quality battles. And while that seems like something that's a negative thing, it honestly makes a lot of sense. The majority of players who hop onto rank just want to play ranked games, and they don't really care about the exact specifics of being matched in perfect lobbies. So for the majority of the player base who does ranked, they don't really care enough for that to be a thing. So for the players who are high enough for this to matter, it will have somewhat of an effect, but it's not really too noticeable. So, while it's a positive change, it's definitely limiting. What I'd personally like to see is something that would pop up along this screen if you're a high enough power, with basically another option that basically say, you're of a high X power, so if you want games that are closer to your power due to there not being a lot of players who are at this power, it will take you longer to get lobby, so you might have to wait a few minutes, but you can do this if you want to. So it's basically like an opt-in thing for players of a higher rank to wait for more players of that power to be matched. So in other words, you can choose if you want to sacrifice queue times, but it's completely up to you. I think that's a really easy opt-in option that Nintendo can do, and if they've shown in this patch that they can adjust the preference for X power in lobbies based on the player base, adding an option like that really doesn't seem too difficult. The second change they made will require me to hop into a ranked battle myself, but they made it so that when you join a ranked battle, and this should also apply to Splatfest by the way, though it doesn't for Turf and I don't think it does for League, you show up like this. So everyone shows up with a question mark and their level is question mark and yeah, it's weird. So for the average player, there's probably a big, why the fuck did they do this? What the hell is this supposed to be? And the reason everyone's anonymous is for two things. It's to help stream snipers and win trading. Stream snipers are simply people who try to join lobbies that their streamer is in. And for a lot of these people who watch streams and they join it and they don't get with the streamer, they'll disconnect from their lobbies in order to get it back. With this change, you A, won't know if you got in the same lobby as a streamer in most cases, but B, it makes it so people won't leave these lobbies as often, which makes queue time shorter. So it's overall a very good anti-stream sniping measure. Now, win trading is another thing entirely. Win trading is basically a process in which a player and their friend will join a ranked battle together, and if they get on the same team, try to win. But if they get on a different team, the player who wants to achieve a higher power will play it as hard as they can, while the other player will deliberately throw the game. This is basically a method of artificially hiring your ranked power. This exists in every game, and unfortunately, it's been used in Splatoon. Particularly, the X power of 3000 is a very sought after X power that very few people have, and there have been players in both the Western scene and Japan who have win traded to go for that power. Few of these players being banned for a bit because of getting caught.
So, this is a measure to make wind trading harder. While I think it's a good change, if I'm being honest, in the realm of both stream sniping and wind trading, I don't think this is enough. The main reason is because once you join a lobby, you can judge how many people are in that lobby, and in a lot of cases, that will give it away if you're in the right or wrong lobby. So for both stream sniping and wind trading, while it definitely makes it harder, it doesn't really do as much to stop it as they could. So what are the fix I think they could do for it is just remove the lobby screen altogether. I think it should just show that you are waiting for Q, and then it'll just give a notification that says Q full. So what should replace this lobby screen? There's actually a tweet a Japanese player made that I'm unfamiliar with, but they showed a few options such as showing map rotations or showing your Splatnet data, but I think the option that was easily my favorite to me is bringing back the Splatoon 1 little arcade mini games that you could play on the screen while waiting for your lobby to fill. These include things like Squid Jump or Squid Beats or Squid Racer. There are basically a bunch of mini games you could play on your gamepad in Splatoon 1 while you waited for lobbies to fill, and this would be absolutely perfect. On top of that, if Nintendo were to say, add my other option of you can have longer waiting queues if you want to, it gives those players something to do while they do wait to get their lobby. A lot of people really love the arcade mini games, and it's really just a big downside that they're missing, and it would be very easy for Nintendo to add them back. So I personally don't see a downside to this. It would pretty much completely fix stream sniping, almost completely fix wind trading, and it would bring back an absolute loved part of Splatoon 1. So I would like to see them do that. The last change is a relatively simple one. That's another thing that's very much seen in all games and doesn't require much explanation. Which, basically, if you have two players who are in the top 2,000, or basically players matched that are in the top 2,000 of players, and they have each other blocked, which would normally prevent you from getting in ranked lobbies with that person, you will actually still be able to get in the same lobby as them. Now, this is a phenomenon that's happened in other games as well. I think one of the main examples is in Overwatch, where a top Widowmaker player was actually getting blocked by a lot of other top 500 players, or avoided in that game is what they use. And because of that, they had to wait for super long queue times, and they would get lower power lobbies. So this basically means if you're someone who is in the top 500, you can't just block players better than you to avoid playing against them. And you can block up to 100 people in this game, so you can avoid a lot of people. While this isn't really something that the West has ever thought of, because... You normally get shit power lobbies all the time to where it's not really worth it and it's better worth to block the Timmies who farm 12 fucking missiles in your spawn with sploosh. For a region like Japan where you can get much better lobbies, it's something that is definitely more common. So it's overall just a good change. It'll help make top level queues faster and it prevents people from avoiding other players. Overall, I think that these are definitely good changes, and it's great to see Nintendo finally taking a step to fix Ranked, but in my eyes, it's definitely a way more that they could have done, and I think is very easy to do. Hopefully, my suggestions or other similar suggestions get through, and something like that could be implemented in. So, that's about everything. If you want to find the English patch notes yourself, as well as the tweet I mentioned earlier, both of them will be linked both in the description and the pinned comment. And you can be sure to check me out on Twitch and Twitter at Prochara, with no spaces or underscores. And I will see you all later. Thank you so much for watching.